Hi everyone, my name is Nancy Tran, registered dental hygienist and Burr Senior Ambassador. Today we're going to talk about palatal expansion versus tooth extractions. If you're a patient with severe crowding or considering getting braces due to having a narrow arch or jaw, before even getting braces, your dentist or orthodontist is probably going to recommend expanding your teeth or your palate in order to make room for your teeth to move into the right place. In general, orthodontics is the art and science of moving teeth into better positions. Sometimes we're just genetically not blessed to have straight teeth. The treatment plan and the treatment variations that are recommended are very dependent on several factors such as your malocclusions, the size and narrowing of your jaw, if there's crowding of your teeth, um, and then of course the desired time that a patient prefers to stay in treatment. So these are the things that we're going to discuss today and also the pros and the cons of doing something short term such as pulling your teeth um, when they're severely crowded or doing a palatal expander. Let's talk about short-term uh, tooth extractions. You almost get immediate results. It takes one to two weeks for your extraction site to heal. You'll have a space there, and then you can start with your orthodontic treatment, being able to get your brackets on and start moving the teeth in place. Um, it can be done for children or adults. It's not a specific time frame that you have to get those tr the treatment done. So that might be one of the treatment considerations when extractions of the severely crowded teeth are recommended. Um, however, it does have its downfalls because we're only immediately treating that localized focused area of crowded teeth. If you already have crowded teeth, the likelihood of your jaw being narrow, um, removing the teeth is going to make your jaw even more narrow, which leaves no room for your tongue to relax and function. Um, and that can potentially cause airway issues, which means you can't properly breathe when you're sleeping and throughout the day you just have um, more issues with room in your mouth. So um, by already having a narrow arch and you proceed by immediately extracting the teeth and proceeding with your braces, it is very dependent on you being able to maintain and retain your teeth once your teeth are straightened. If you don't wear a retainer, the likelihood of your your teeth relapsing and crowding again is going to be a lot higher because it's already narrow. So as kind of working against gravity and pushing the resistance, the teeth are just going to naturally want to go back to where they came from, um, especially if we didn't take the proper precautions to do the long-term treatment, which in, in hindsight would be um, the palatal expansion, making the appropriate space in your jaw and your mouth during your developmental process in order to um, protect your teeth and the arches in your airways for the long term. So that would be extractions and the benefits and the pros and the cons. You get immediate results. Um, you get to shorten your treatment time because you can start your braces sooner. However, it's not really to me as a professional and um, someone who previously did braces, I probably wouldn't recommend or advocate for patients to do the tooth extractions as your immediate choice for um, expanding or extractions for your orthodontic treatment. So let's talk about palatal expansion. So the benefit of palatal expansion is if you already have a narrow arch, um, typically treatment is recommended for children after the age of seven and then to be done and completed the expansion process prior to the kids being in their teenage years. Um, what happens is we take an impression and you have either a fixed palatal expander and you turn the little key either once a week or once every day. And every turn that you do, it expands your arch or the bone um, by 0.25 millimeters. So it's not a lot that's being done. It can cause some irritation or some soreness, but it's not severely, um, it's not big movements that you're making. It's gradual over time. Um, the pros and the cons of this is if you have a narrow arch, the palatal bones aren't fully fused until your younger adult years. So you're actually able to manipulate and grow the bone of the palatal arches in order to make the appropriate room for your teeth and jaw um, and your tongue to properly have good skeletal development. Um, the downside of this is it does take a little bit longer in your treatment time. It takes about 
three to six weeks for you to actually finish your expansion pro uh, process. And then you're actually going to have to retain it by wearing a little retainer for up to six months to a year, depending on what the orthodontist uh, recommends. There are two options. You have the fixed option, which is cemented into your molar teeth and you have the removable. The removable acts like a retainer. I really love the removable process because you can take it out, brush your teeth, and you don't have to worry about food um, and plaque and things getting stuck underneath here. So as a hygienist, I've had a really hard time cleaning this and finding plaque and bacteria in patients. Um, and the benefit is you have a generalized focus when you are doing your palatal expansion versus like we discussed in the extractions of teeth, we're only focusing on the crowded teeth and removing those. So if you look here, we're gonna be able to expand and widen the arches so that into your adulthood, you'll have better, better airway breathing. Um, the, likely, the likeliness of your teeth relapsing and crowding again won't be as high because you actually made the appropriate room for your teeth and your jaw. The treatment process, um, it does take a little bit longer, but for the long-term effects, you have, you'll be able to maintain it a lot easier because you've done the appropriate stages to help your jaw and your teeth and your facial profile develop in the way that it needs. Um, so it improves the airway function, improves the positioning of your teeth, um, and then you'll be able to function with all of your teeth naturally being in the right place and right position. If you get your teeth extracted, you kind of have to redistribute the function of your teeth. For example, if we're extracting the premolars to make room for your teeth to move, um, the premolars are typically meant to chew your food after your molars have done the most of the chewing. And your canines eventually replace your premolars in the teeth function. So you'll be putting a lot more wear and tear on your canine teeth because they're not meant to function as a premolar. Um, they're meant to just kind of tear your food as a front anterior teeth. So that's another downside of getting your teeth extracted and repositioned because you're doing more damage in the long term because those teeth that are in their new spaces in the mouth are not meant to function in that way. So um, in summary, everybody is different. Your treatment recommendations are really going to depend on a lot of things, the severity of your teeth crowding. Um, how narrow your arches are, and really just the time that you want to commit to your treatment. Um, sometimes adult patients are just not wanting to be in braces for that long, so they tend to opt for the short-term treatment of extracting the teeth, getting it done, and just having um, to maintain it the best that they can. But as a dental professional, as someone who's previously been in orthodontics, I would definitely advocate for patients to take the time that they need to do things that will benefit them in the long run, which is taking the time to expand your palate, give your mouth and your teeth and your jaw, the skeletal structures, um, the space that they need, and you'll definitely live wholeheartedly a better and more comfortable life with your teeth and your jaw being in better positioning. Um, I would like to share this um, challenge that one orthodontist had done Back in 1976, he did a treatment for two twin girls. One twin girl had her teeth extracted as part of her orthodontic treatment, and the other twin sister had the palatal expansion done. And the before and after photos just show a dramatic difference in just their profile, the positioning of their jaw structures, um, and then just the shape of their their overall um, skeletal structures looks a huge difference. So hopefully... Um, having these pros and the cons will help you make the right judgments or decisions in whether or not you want a short-term or long-term uh, treatment when it comes to making room for teeth to move in the mouth. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Continue to like us and subscribe for future um, segments.